Hi, lovies. Hi. It's Kaju Mommy here. No, from a previous video, well, the last video we shared, um, two young individuals who are about to sit SEA, and to all of you else who are about to sit SEA and view our channel, much love, thumbs up, lovely support. Mind the makeup, I did not do the makeup to do this video. I was actually doing a photo and I went onto the channel and I saw the two comments. And these the comments came from Raphael, I believe is Relic, and Amanda Peters. You two individuals, much love, and you requested some advice for this exam. So I'm gonna give you some do's and some don'ts. Now, luckily, I'm a silent five teacher, so my students are also doing the exam. So I can give you some advice from within. So I'm not outside of the curriculum, I'm within, right? So some do's. I hope you all have been working hard, firstly. You don't expect a miracle on a day unless God wants it to happen. So you would have been pushing your practice test. You would have been listening to the teacher. You would have been applying yourself, going onto YouTube, not just the cash. They got yourself cash. Not just the cash, but those other mathematical, grammatical, creative, radical <laughs> channels that would have assisted you. Right? Um, so you would have done putting the work. That's the most important thing. If you did not put in the work, then this don't would apply to you. Do not panic. Do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. Don't. <laughs> because what would happen is that you're going to end up in problems. And you may not end up doing the tests on the day, on July the 1st. You will not be able to do the test. Because why? You may get a panic attack. You may end up in, no, remember we were in the mask in the exam. So you might, do, oh my God, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And it's like, oh, oh no. And you know, and you may end up not getting to do the exam. Do not panic. Because what would happen is that you're going to have to sit a supplemental exam after. And that is more pressure because then again, while your friends are off the secondary school, you still at the standard five level trying to get out to get into the form one level. So, okay. Do be prepared on the day do be prepared on the day relax chill you know chill because you're already putting all the hard work just chill put on your hoodie and chill you know like my daughters and them just do it bam and you whoa <laughs> sorry so chill i'm not saying to don't just erase your memory but you go into the exam relaxed as possible crack a joke or two because you know what what you learned is going to leave you it's going to flow once that is up there it's going to flow onto that paper do come to these people's school relaxed don't try nothing new don't try to run and throw some vitamins and you know you're not accustomed to drinking milk on the morning so you drink milk that day because you don't want to faint away and then what you come and you get diarrhea don't do nothing you're not accustomed doing do what you're accustomed doing do wear your mask. Do have your sanitizer. Do have your pencil case and stationaries. Do wear the school uniform. The, now, we know y'all grow, grow your stuff. We know y'all got big. Some of y'all got boobs. Some of y'all got more hips. Some of the boys, y'all you know, got your sideburns and a deep throat. Right? So, the voice. Right? So, those are the do's. Do read the instruction. Do underline your key important points. In the mathematics, especially, do underline, do read those questions two and three times. Do that, but do not take too much time on a question. You don't understand it? Put a little asterisk on the side and go. Come back to it. So you don't want because you don't want time to come and leave you and your question not answered. You want to get a little one mark even though you don't understand. Do answer all your questions. Do not leave any questions unanswered because whereas you could get a half a mark you don't want to get zero because you didn't answer baby cakes right Raphael and amanda i'm calling all your names because you requested this video right honeys and right so those are the do's for maths 
creative writing. You read it, you choose whichever um, narrative you want to write because I know stories coming this year. You choose whichever story you are comfortable with. You can flow with. Remember, these people look for the pretty words in the creative writing. Uh, you know, they want the similes, they want the onomatopoeias, they want the metaphors and these things, the pretty things and these big vocabulary. Don't say sad, say melancholy. Like really, yeah. They look for these these things to, you know, butterfly them, pretty them out. Just like makeup, women wear the makeup to pretty up themselves. So, the creative writing, the rich of language. Even if you know only two words are bigger, use the two words, push in your two words. If you only know three, make sure I'm putting them three words that you know. Right? But don't go and create your own word, eh? Make sure they have your direct speech. They look for these things. Make sure you have your descriptive. Make sure if you're describing SpongeBob, make sure he look like SpongeBob. Not a box with some holes in a jockey. So... When you're writing your stories, be natural. Do not go on a day to be somebody you're not. You only know two words, use your two words. You only know how to say one, di uh, write a sentence in direct speech. Put in that, make sure you apply that one sentence inside of your story. Right? Make sure and apply it inside your story. Don't go out of the way and you do not, you, you, um, you say, okay, the man when the man, um, John screamed, hey, I'm coming back for you, boy. Yeah, you, you could write that, but and you know how to put in inverted commas and you come on an exclamation mark because you're shouting. So, but don't go and continue something that you don't know how to. So stick to what you know. Stick to what you know. Stick to what you know. And remember, in creative writing, be descriptive. They want to see. You want to wow them from the beginning. From the beginning there. You remember in your settings. I'm not sure a lot at y'all, but as it flow, I'm going to give y'all, right? In your creative writing, your setting, you remember you start with the setting and the body and the conclusion or the ending, however you want to put it. Your setting, you must introduce your characters, you must make up the place. You must do that, right? Do not go on from your story if you have not created your setting. If you're in a, in a factory, describe it. Not too much to wear or the person, but make sure if I am the reader, I can see this factory. I can smell the factory. I, if it smells eerie, I must be able to read your story and say, okay, this place mossy and damp and it smells and, you know. And your character, we must know who's your character. Describe them. Not too much. She could be, your character could be short with beady eyes and, and a rough, um, with, with rough hair. We don't know that person, kind of little quirky. So we know what to expect. So when you build that setting there, now you, you take that setting and you continue to flow into your story. Remember your climax in your body? So after that paragraph, as you flow into your story, right? You're going to your climax, bam, we must get excited. We must be jumping up. You see, can say, we could just stop there and say, yeah, get them 20. From the climax, remember the climax, the, 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 the problem solved, so you're dying down, right? You're dying down. But if it's a, a secret party, you was going and hold, and, and mommy come home, so everybody run out to the back, and everybody run, they run, they run, they who jump over the fence and fall down and hit the head, who um, who run into your grandfather car, who um who flip over your bicycle, and those are the climax, because those will be the exciting part of what is what your story is taking place. And as they die down, Mommy come inside or daddy come inside. Everything was okay because why you you straight not quick 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 and body don't run away. Story and you lie down in your bed and you're just back and you relax on the moment, you reminisce on the moment. We make sure they make sure it ends. Make sure it ends. Make sure it begins and it ends. Right? Narrative is a really, really easy um creative writing piece. If it was a report, that's a different story, right? Um so math make sure you underline these key points make sure you write you pull out from the information that they give you and make statements right we learn you all know these things so you don't even have to use these statements that we learn in school just apply it to you if if janice buy a bicycle for 28 dollars cost a bicycle 28 dollars she sold it for 98 dollars selling price of the bicycle 98 was the profit or loss? Did she make a profit or loss? You know, you know, you had to take away the selling price on the course, right? These things, come on. 
you apply it you apply what you know you take what you know right you take what you know and you apply it right and always go back to the question the question part of it go back to it go back to it and um and make sure you answer the question so math read to understand underline your key points pull out the information and answer it lastly make sure you answer the question because we know yeah there are plenty multiple um operation questions and i know fractions is one of the areas many of y'all are having a lot of difficulties with dude y'all have a little a little difficulty you know and just stick with what the question is asking i don't know i've a practice test yet because i tell you uh this level right so i don't know right so stick to what they're asking all you stick to what they're asking you if they say um the school has 10 classes on, on ash wednesday five classes were half filled obviously if it have 10 classes and and um on wednesday half of the class was filled on wednesday five classes were half filled you have to literally understand what they're saying put yourself in a position okay there are 10 classes in the school and then i say on wednesday five of the classes were half filled so then you know how to analyze okay if five classes were half filled then how much of them was absent because that's what basically the question is taking you to to ask you about absenteeism so you now have to put yourself even if you had to draw the school draw the classes and and just put categories like you know you have five classes put five circles and each circle you put um um but sorry you have 10 classes so you put 10 circles and then you want to deal with each circle as the question go by you do so imagery brings out the question if you want to put yourself in a question based on what they're asking you you can do so like um like if you're asking you for somebody you want to give away this amount of stickers and who get twice the amount put yourself in a position so that you can understand what it is they're asking you some of you are like literally that bright y'all y'all that bright thumbs up thumbs up that you can just see what they're asking but some of us like me who are visually inclined i learn better by pulling all the information drawing and putting things here there what they're asking you try it you know yourself you know how you approach a question but that is what the mathematics is about now remember everything that they ask you is in it is in the question right it's just for you to understand some of the questions are like ridiculously annoying that is like psh, would they really feel all this um from one right they are ridiculous questions but once you understand what you know you are able to apply and carry it forward sorry the video taking a long i'm just trying to come concise a lot of information so that you can go with right um no we still only do this because all of these are those for the creative writing the math the language arts stick to the questions what they're asking you um i know they you're supposed to be able familiar to see what well, okay i would have spelled wrong right any spelling any vocabulary come on guys any comprehension all the answers are there you see when there's an inferential question inferential meaning that you have to think to answer because the answer is not there any comprehension you can never be wrong in an inferential question the only way you can be wrong is if you literally stray from the question if the topic is about turtles and leatherback turtles and this that and the other about turtles or sea, sea animals don't go and ask if you ask a question why do you think the leatherback um turtles um like coming on the beach don't go and say they come on the beach to come to go and play juve they come they say they come on the beach because they're running from covid don't say they're coming on the beach because they just want to play be realistic what have you learned or heard about turtles before that may want that turtle to come onto the sand or why um why every time your dog the dog sees you he wags his tail you're also supposed to be able to think of the, the common situations where you can apply your knowledge so inferential questions these quite these are the questions that they ask you where you have to put an answer based on knowledge on experience so the answer is not in the, in the passage but it is there in your mind to answer but don't stray because you will lose the mark but comprehension everything besides the inferential questions are there in the passage just take your time and understand the passage before you move forward poetry they ask for um 
the basic things just like a comprehension it's just when it acts with the mood and the tone these things can be a bit you know because the tone is the um how do how the author is actually the 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 i can't say the author's tone again but actually how the author is trying to bring across the information to you and the mood is how it is set how it is set what kind of mood you're in so you see my face change because I, I changed my mood right so there is a difference and the flyers the advertisements and the the basically common sense again also and we we we, we are we are you're not we. You all are bright children with, with media and everything. So you're supposed to be able to answer these questions like literally like that. Okay? Um, so those are the do's. Those are the do's. Do answer all questions. Do be comfortable on the day. Don't wear no tight shoe and then your foot hurting you and it's distracting you. Don't play your tie up your hair in a high, 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 high one and it's too tight and your head hurts and all the females, you know, only when the dolls are because they come outside in a long while. Like some of my students, I've seen them, the statuses on the, um, on WhatsApp, the hair red. Tell me what they're doing with all the hair red. Okay? So, don't do any outer time in here. Study not a custom comb in here in, uh, in over over a year plus. <laughs> so, comb in here in a normal style that you can take the pain because... When I not custom, when I when I my hair not custom to wookies and I put it, I just get headaches. So put your hair style in a proper hairstyle, put it into school, simple, and that you have no issues. Do not do nothing on a day that could compromise your comfort comfortability. That's a word. Right? <laughs> you don't want to be uncomfortable. So that's don't don't do anything that is not different. Sorry again for the long video. It's just is that you touch you'll ask my area in which I am good at so I'm giving you all the advice. Um, don't touch your friends. Virtual hugs. Mm, virtual hugs. Hey girl, yeah, I miss you. Mm, you grow girl. Mm, yeah, look, you see, you see this joke and you hear this joke, but don't touch. I know all they will be tempted because all they miss all their friends. Don't touch. Sit down, all the six feet apart, and laugh and talk. You don't want to be six feet together and then six feet under. Understand? I'm going to repeat that. You don't want to be six feet together, meaning that you, you, you deny any fact that that's six feet, so you come together, and after that six feet together, someone only end up six feet under. You don't want to end up like that. So just obey, you know, keep your distance, keep your mask on, do sanitize, most of all, be comfortable, check your time frame, because everybody's supposed to have a watch. You have your watch. Check your time frame. You know you have this amount of time because the only time the test tab starts is when they say start and 10 minutes before you finish, that is when I tell it 10 minutes before you finish. So check your time, make sure you're on time and do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Be comfortable. Only be comfortable and be relaxed. I hope all you're practicing wearing all your masks from all now because you don't want to panic when you day because you can't breathe. Be comfortable. If you're going to use, if you want to use the washroom, that is not a problem. Don't worry about that. Put up your hand. A tester will come, take you to the washroom, and when you come back, they will give you back your time you spent. If you went on two two for ten minutes, and it take two minutes to reach upstairs, you're gonna get back at twelve minutes. Don't worry yourself. Don't sit down there and hold a pee, or and and or you're feeling upset and you're trying to hold it, and then you end up making more mess than, than anything else. Just you have the time, they will give it back to you. Do not go and do the people exam. Do not go and do the people exam if you know you have flu-like symptoms. You do want to put other people children at risk because you do want to miss this exam. It is unfair to everybody else. If you're sick, do not, do not, do not stay home. Let the ministry know, or well, let the, the principal know, the principal, or let the supervisor, supervisor, let the ministry know. You will be given another day to do the exam all right much love i give, I give all the 20 minutes of my time sorry kaylee who is not here she's the one who sat the exam so she did a whole year of virtual form one schooling please note that yes she passed for saint francois a good school but she is having her problems and difficulties with the level and amount of work that is being done and I would plan to do a updated video, but 
she don't want to about giving all your she business her body grades but she is having struggles and that's the same thing i told persons in the preview in the first video because we know sea was the reason why cash was created because we had to share kaylee's success and we had to do updates but we have there's nothing much interesting going on with kaylee so we end up with a and j taking over the show right so as i told persons we push for the top schools but can we maintain that level in the top schools can we do that we don't know so be yourself push to where you could go and be the best that you can be there's no such thing as a bad school is what you do when you go to the school right much love much peace be safe stay safe sanitize distance yourself and have fun home only just know this exam out and they for the one we could throw a whole virtual party and rejoice i am that kind of mommy we will have a whole virtual party and we can enjoy because why the stress is off our shoulders and you know what we have two months to relax and then form one that's a different story right much love peace Kaj mommy is out.